Hello and welcome to another episode of the Insight Edge by Inkspell Media. Today is going to be an extremely relevant uh, episode, especially in these times, because uh, among other things, what the lockdown has really emphasized is the importance of managing the workforce well. For today's show, we have Ms. Soumya Samuel, who is the founder of InStory. Soumya is an independent human culture and communications expert. Welcome to the Insight Edge, Soumya. Can you throw some light on why it is really important for leaders to engage in employee communications at this time? And, and what could be the best practices? Thank you so much Inspel's team for having me on this platform. Given that we are faced with this pandemic and organizations are going through a lot of changes and in a short span of time, it becomes important for them to communicate these changes to employees. While it is very important to relay these tactical information to employees, I also believe this is the time for organizations and specifically leaders to shift communication to a more caring and compassionate space. This pandemic is something that not one of us saw coming. And it's brought with it a lot of uncertainties and a lot of fear for all of us. And your employees are no different. I'm sure they have plenty of questions running in their mind in terms of how is this going to impact me? How is this going to impact my family? Uh, what is my organization going to do about this? How is my organization going to even protect me? Or what's coming up next within my organization? So as a leader, it becomes important for you to address and acknowledge these questions. There are a few things that organizations or leaders can consider doing. Starting with having one person from the top management who becomes the face of this crisis. It is up to this leader now to come and communicate everything about the pandemic. I always say preferably over a video than over emails would be more personal. The second thing that you have to remember is the fact that you shouldn't miss out opening up a channel of communication from the employees to the leader, which means two-way communication needs to happen right now where employees can give their feedback, ask their questions, and the same be answered and responded to in a timely manner. These are grim times, there's a lot of negative uh, news doing the rounds. It would be great if you can bring and share a lot of good news. Good news about what your organization is doing or good news about the general humanity that you can see around you. And I think that would uh, uh, boost your employees in certain ways. Your human resources are your biggest assets and how you treat them right now will go a long way in how much they trust and be loyal to the organization in the future. That's a really interesting take on uh, the entire issue, Soumya, especially because you mentioned values like compassion, honesty, integrity. So all of these things when communicating with the employees at these times, I think will be really crucial for the leaders. Soumya, my next question pertains to uh, the work from home scenario which has kind of become a norm in these times but at the same time i believe that the professional and the personal boundaries have blurred and productivity somewhere some people feel that uh, is not at the best so what is your take on that i think when work from home was introduced about uh, a few weeks ago or even a month ago most of us welcomed it with open arms didn't we but then eventually as time passed, uh, that honeymoon phase that we had with this work model is uh, over and we realized that work-life balance didn't get any better because we were working from homes and for a lot of people it might have probably even gotten a lot more difficult which means they end up clocking in more hours or uh, the fact that there's no physical separation between an office and a house right now. So there's a lot of interspersing of personal and professional lives that's happening. And even people who are attending to personal chores during the uh, expected work hours are being consumed by a lot of guilt. But I would always say this is teething issue because this is a new work model that we're all trying and probably also considering the fact that this is going to become the new normal 
how can organizations look at enabling employees to work better from home i think it's important that uh, a lot of flexibility is given right now for employees to explore and fit in this new work model into their lives this also means that we need to shift to a culture of accountability micromanagement may not have a space in your workplace anymore a culture of account- accountability is something that needs to be fostered very consciously by team leaders and by top management and as for employees now that you're in the starting phase it is important to create that physical separation at least that concept mentally so this could be through having a separate workspace maybe even a room that's dedicated to being your office room and if that's not possible getting into your office attire during that work hours so that you know this is your set uh, office time but uh, now coming to the positive side it is interesting to see how we are letting go of that professional image that we've always carried at work uh, i'm sure all of us have had at least one embarrassing moment where in maybe your pet walked in or your uh, a uh, kid walked in into the screen when you were having a team call or maybe there's a doorbell ringing at the back or there's a dog barking behind you now what all of these could have been considered unprofessional a few uh, years ago is being accepted right now so that human part of all of us is being accepted and i think that's beautiful to see in fact i've even read accounts of uh, team leaders talking about how they connected with the family members of their uh, employees and how they brought about a lot of change in the uh, dynamics of the team you mentioned uh, check-ins as one of the rituals that managers should really follow in these times especially to connect and engage with their team and every employee who's working for them can you tell us a little bit more on that uh i think the meaning of check in as a concept uh got diluted somewhere along the way so now even when a manager walks up to an employee and probably asks how a particular project is shaping up can be considered as check in but if you go back to the roots of this practice you will notice that check in is actually checking in on the status of someone's mind than on the status of a project you can do it with in the form of one on ones or in your team setting by asking very simple questions which could be something as how are you doing personally how uh, is your health or how are you doing work wise now the important part in this is in terms of creating that openness or that space for people to come up with answers that go beyond i am fine as a team leader you have to also be prepared for the fact that uh, this is not going to be an easy conversation but even as i say this uh, i have to mention that on the other side of this uh, hard conversation will also be a stronger relationship that has developed between the leader and the employee and yes not all of these check-ins are meant to be about challenges and difficulties it is also important to bring in the fun aspect to it the need of the hour right now is to build that connection and to build that community feeling and that's what's going to help us survive this pandemic thank you so much somya for taking out time and having this conversation with us but before we sign off uh, do you have any particular message for our audience out there you know before we sign off i think i would like to acknowledge all the effort that's being taken by leaders and by frontline workers all across the world uh, we are all doing the best that we can and collectively i'm sure we are going to tide through this crisis thank you so much i hope all our viewers find this episode really insightful and of great learning value especially with your unique take on interpersonal skills and the interpersonal relationships that the managers and the leaders can form with their employees and the entire staff and create that synergy which will possibly help us fight this uh, entire battle together thanks to you for watching this show i'll see you again in the next episode with another unique perspective on the corporate and the business life thank you so much stay tuned